Let's do some cooking. Mm. Welcome to Meals That Got Me Through College. This is a $2.20 smash burger that will treat you right anytime you make it. First of all, you're gonna toast your burger buns with some butter. Let's also make a quick burger sauce using some mayo, some ketchup, a touch of hot sauce, and a tiny squeeze of lemon. Then I like to add my lettuce and my tomatoes that I simply sliced and generously seasoned. I got my beef and I'll just make a ball out of it. I'll season my bowl with salt and then in a ripping hot pan, I'll place my ball salt side down. I'll place a piece of parchment paper on top and with a heavy bottom pot, I'll smash my ball until it's no longer a ball really. Also on top of this, I'm adding some onion and when we flip this, the onion is gonna cook with all those burger juices. Oof. Place a slice of cheese on top and that's pretty much it for the patty. I also have some pickles, some more of my sauce. And this is two bucks, like I'm never going to five guys again. Okay, that's a lie. The last time I made these tacos, people could not get enough. They were flying out. Someone ate 10 of them and people were taking them out of the pan as I was frying them. Welcome to Ramadan Cravings where I'll be sharing 30 recipes for every day of fasting and today I'm craving these chicken burrito tacos. The best part of this recipe is that it's so easy. You just pop everything into the pan basically, let it cook for a minimum of two hours. Trust me, you need to do this. It just makes it taste so much better. You want to take the chicken out about halfway through, shred it and set it aside, otherwise it'll become a little bit too soft. And this tastes so much better when you make your own homemade tortillas. Obviously you can use store-bought, but I do have a recipe for my homemade tortillas on my page and they're really easy and simple, so give it a go. Add the shredded chicken back into the sauce and then this is where the magic happens. You want to chuck in your tortilla and soak it in that broth. Top it with cheese and some of the chicken. You don't want to add too much of the sauce here because otherwise it'll just go all soggy. And then pan fry it on a pan until it gets crisp. And that's it, so enjoy. This recipe is so good, I make it at least twice a week. These tasty Turkish eggs come together in 15 minutes or less, so let me show you how to make them. Now, not very traditional, but we're gonna smoke this yogurt. Smoke your yogurt, just trust me. Today for a dinner idea, we're making triple stack smash burgers that shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes, so here's how you make them. I started off by making homemade buns, obviously that's completely optional, but I do have a recipe on my page. I heated up my skillet with some olive oil on high heat for 5 minutes before I added my ground beef, and I used 80-20 ground beef, and each of your patties should be 4 ounces. Flatten your ground beef down in your skillet as flat and as even as you can, and then we're going to season with salt and black pepper. Add a slice of cheese, let it melt, and then we're going to repeat the process with the rest of our patties. And to assemble, of course, toast your buns, and we're going to add our sauce, and the rest 
recipe for the sauce and the burger. In-depth instructions are on my blog, and you can add whatever toppings you want. I love adding caramelized onions, and I love adding a sunny side up egg, but you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do exactly what I did. Make it nice and customizable to what you prefer, and you're done. Date Night Dishes, episode 10, Tonkotsu Ramen. Mm. On a previous episode of the dumpling series, I showed you how to make soup dumplings with pork, and now I'm gonna show you how to make it with chicken. By the way, I used Shaoxing wine in this recipe, so if you're halal, you could just leave it out. To get started, blanch chicken bones and feet in water to get rid of the scum, and rinse it under cold water. Add the bones back to the pot along with ginger, green onion, bay leaves, Shaoxing wine, and water. Boil for 4 hours, strain, season with salt, and let it solidify in the fridge overnight. When it's ready, skim the fat and finely chop it up. For the dough, combine flour, salt, salt and hot water until shaggy dough comes together and knead it until it's smooth. Let that rest while we make the filling which is made of ground chicken, green onion, ginger, shaoxing wine, soy sauce, sesame oil, salt, sugar, and white pepper. Mix in one direction and add the chopped up broth. Now roll the dough into a rope and cut into 10 gram pieces. Flatten and roll the dough out and place about a tablespoon of filling in the center of the wrapper and try to fold it so it has 18 pleats. Finally steam for 8 minutes and enjoy! If you're hungry or fasting right now, you might not want to watch this video because I'm going to show you guys how to make this incredible chicken alfredo lasagna. This is insane. First up, take five to six chicken tenders and we're going to season these really nicely with salt, pepper, cayenne, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. Add about two tablespoons of olive oil and coat the chicken on all sides thoroughly. Now we pan fry the chicken on medium high heat until it is cooked through and has a really nice sear on both sides. Let the chicken rest for five to ten minutes and then you're going to chop it up into fairly small pieces. Next we're gonna make a really simple white sauce. First melt five tablespoons of butter in a pan, add chopped onion and fry until it softens. Add garlic and saute until fragrant. Now add salt, pepper, chili flakes and Italian seasoning. Add flour, toast it for just one to two minutes and then add milk and cream. Cook this for a few minutes until you get a thick sauce. Lastly, add two cups of chopped spinach and one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Delicious! And just like that, we're ready to assemble. First, spread some white sauce on the bottom of your pan. Next, add a layer of lasagna noodles. More sauce. Now, spread on some of that chopped chicken from earlier. And then do a generous amount of shredded mozzarella cheese. More cheese, more happiness. I'll just repeat the same steps. You'll do this three full times, so you get three total layers. Fourth and final layer of lasagna sheets. Spread on the remaining white sauce. And this time, skip the chicken and do a very generous layer of mozzarella cheese and this goes into the oven tell me that's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen